Have you ever heard of oral pemphigus vulgaris? No, you're not alone. This is a rare autoimmune disorder, a condition where the body's immune system gets its wires crossed and begins attacking its own proteins in the skin and mucous membranes. The result? Painful blistering, but not just anywhere. We're talking about the mouth here. Imagine ulcers or blisters erupting in your mouth on your gums, your tongue, your palate, or the inner cheeks. It's as uncomfortable as it sounds, with the blisters being so fragile that they can easily rupture, leaving behind open sores. These sores don't just cause pain, they can also make eating, drinking, and even speaking quite a challenge. Treating oral pemphigus vulgaris typically involves immunosuppressive medications, like corticosteroids, which help reduce inflammation and control symptoms. Now that we've understood what oral pemphigus vulgaris is, let's delve a bit deeper into its causes. Ever wondered what causes this rare condition? The exact cause of oral pemphigus vulgaris remains a mystery to medical science. However, what we do know is that it's believed to be an autoimmune disorder. In simple terms, this means that the body's immune system, which usually fights off harmful invaders like bacteria and viruses, mistakenly turns against the body's own tissues. In the case of oral pemphigus vulgaris, the immune system attacks proteins in the skin and mucous membranes. This unfortunate case of mistaken identity triggers the formation of painful blisters and sores in the mouth. Factors that might trigger this immune response are not fully understood, but genetics, environmental factors and certain medications might play a role. It's also worth mentioning that oral pemphigus vulgaris is not contagious. It cannot be passed from person to person through contact or any other means. As we've seen, the causes of oral pemphigus vulgaris are complex. Now let's move on to its symptoms. So how do you know if you have oral pemphigus vulgaris? You might wonder. Well, the symptoms are quite characteristic. They usually start with painful ulcers or blisters inside the mouth. These can appear on the gums, tongue, palate, or inner cheeks. These blisters are not your typical mouth sores. They are quite unique because they can rupture easily, even with the slightest touch or pressure. When these blisters break, they leave behind open sores. These sores can be extremely painful, turning simple day-to-day -day activities like eating, drinking, and speaking into a challenging ordeal. Imagine trying to enjoy your favorite meal, but every bite sends a jolt of pain shooting through your mouth. Or trying to have a simple conversation, but every word spoken is like a stab of pain. That's the reality for those with oral pemphigus vulgaris. Recognizing these symptoms can help in early diagnosis. Now let's discuss the treatments available. What can you do if you have oral pemphigus vulgaris? You might wonder. Treatment often involves medications that suppress the immune system's overactive response. These are known as immunosuppressive medications. They help to calm the immune system and prevent it from attacking the body's own tissues. Another common treatment is the use of corticosteroids. These powerful anti-inflammatory drugs help to reduce inflammation and control symptoms, offering some relief for the painful mouth sores that are characteristic of this condition. But remember, it's not just about the medication. It's also crucial to work closely with healthcare professionals, such as dermatologists or oral medicine specialists. They can help manage symptoms effectively, prevent complications and monitor the condition over the long term. Oral pemphigus vulgaris is indeed a complex condition, but with the right treatment and care, it can be managed effectively. Remember, early diagnosis is key. Stay aware, stay healthy.